A Gantt chart is a timeline of your project. Project management requires knowledge and skills on a project activities to meet the project requirements. When it comes to managing projects, you need tools to make them manageable. Professionals use Gantt charts to visualize how highly complex tasks can be broken down into smaller processes. Although Excel itself doesn't support Gantt charts, creating a simple Gantt chart is fairly easy. You just have to get your data ready and set up properly. So let's get started. The first step in your Gantt chart in Excel is the data. Enter your project table and list each task in a separate row. Structure your project plan by including the project, start date, duration, end date, and days in total to complete the tasks. Look at our data. It's a table that shows the making of a software application at various stages. It has the start date, each task begins, and the duration in days. Look at the first row, Gather Requirements. It starts on January 8th and lasts 11 days. Because we want to calculate work days, not weekends, we use the useful function called Workday. Double click on cell D3. This function will calculate the end date of the specific project automatically. Finally, we want another column called Days in Total to calculate the total days. It's a simple subtraction between end and start date. Let's check it. To create a Gantt chart, you need three columns. The project, the start date, and the days in total. Let's highlight them with the help of the control key. Switch to the Insert tab, then under the Charts group, click the Stacked Bar Chart. Not exactly what we need, but it's the closest to a Gantt chart. To make a stacked column chart look like a Gantt chart, we have to make one of these two series disappear. In the end, one series will be looking like the floating tasks that make the typical look of a Gantt chart. The goal is to hide the blue bars, so that only the orange part is visible. Technically, we need to keep the blue bars as a zero baseline, so let's make them transparent. Double click any of these. The Format Data Series pane open. From the Fill and Line tab, choose No Fill. And from the Border No Line here. Close the dialog box. The next step is to adjust the dates. You have noticed that the X axis range does not start on the first day of the first task. We can change the axis range easily. Maybe the trickiest part is to know how Microsoft Excel handles date values. Excel stores dates as sequential serial numbers so that they can be used in calculations. By default, January 1st, 1900 is serial number 1, and January 8th, 2022 is serial number 44,569 because it is 44,569 days after January 1st, 1900. You can see that when you select the cell and change the format from date to example general, we will use the 44,569 as the minimum of the axis range. Double click on them. Type in the first box the start date 8 January 2022. And in the maximum box type the final end date June 1st 2022. Of course, Excel recalculates them in values, but we don't mind. The interval between dates is now 20. Let's change it to 30, the days of a month. Also, it would be useful to decrease the gap between bars. Click on any bar and change the gap width to 0%. We don't want a gap at all. Let's change the color of the bars also. Click on the bucket and change the color from there. Green is OK. Data labels would be a good idea. Go to the Chart Design tab, click Add Chart Elements button, and Center Data Labels. Our Gantt chart is ready. A final note. If you want the first project to start on the upper left corner and go downward, double-click on the vertical axis. 
The last tab called Access Options has what we need. Find the checkbox categories in reverse order and tick. Let's put on those last touches. Delete the title. Also delete the legend. Finally, delete the border of the chart. We made a beautiful Gantt chart. Thanks for watching.